Today we're gonna to see what happens if a priming tube really blows up. So a couple week of weeks ago, I filled this priming tube full of primers and blew it up to see if it would hurt your hand if all the primers blew up in here at once, if this would explode. As you can clearly see, it did not explode. So I wanna see what would happen if it really did explode. So um, I have this brand new priming tube here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Magnum primer and put one at the bottom, so the bottom facing up, and then I'm gonna fill it full of, this is H48 priming compound. I'm not gonna show you how to make this stuff because YouTube probably get mad at me. Um, anyway, this is used to reload primers if you wanna reload your own primers. Um, I have a video on that that I'll put up here, or here, wherever that shows up. Um, but I'm gonna fill this tube full of that. This is about, I think, 300 primers worth. It doesn't look like much, but this is 300 primers worth, so much more than the 100 in, that's normally in here. And I'm gonna put one at the top facing down, and then I'm gonna take this little guy, this guy's too small, I'm gonna put a much bigger thing up here to pretty much plug the top to keep it from being able to relieve pressure out the top. And that should make this thing, um, my theory is it won't be able to withhold, uh, withstand all that um, exploding at once and if you were holding it, it'd be a really bad deal. Um, but obviously I showed if with regular primers, it didn't. Um, you can even see how hard, this is a steel Allen um, wrench that I put put it here, and it blasted it so hard that it that was straight. Now it's not straight. So, um, so let's get to work. Okay, so before I fill it up, um, in that other video, I never opened this up. I'm assuming all the primers in here um, got lit off, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So I'm going to open that and I know this is not the cutter to use it guys. I have one of the ones you know that goes on the thing and you spin it around a bunch of times. I'd look for, I don't know where it is. So I'm going to redneck it and use this. I don't want to use an angle grinder because if it hasn't, if they haven't all gone off, then I don't want to hurt myself. So we're going to use this one like you would that spinny one and get through. Literally right after I finished cutting that, I found the actual tool that I should have used, but I will. Okay, so that's there, and... Wow, check these out. So I, I'd say it's safe to say that every single one of those blew up. I mean, look, that briber is... Now you can't really see it super well because uh, this GoPro sucks at focusing, but it's whole, it's dented. The whole top is bulged out. That's crazy. Yeah, everything in there is completely just obliterated. Okay, so now we know that it wasn't just a couple that blew up and pushed the other ones out. I know for a fact that every single one of them, it was a chain reaction. They set all of them off um, down to the very top, as we can see by those blown up primers. Okay, so I got this thing completely full. Now I'm going to take this last primer. This guy, I want to put him facing down. He's right about there. Okay, so this is that Allen head again. I'm going to put it back in there. Um, it's much stronger than the original one that actually came with it. Okay, and now we got to go find somewhere to get rid of this guy. Okay, guys, so this is the setup I got. Um, these are just to keep anything from going anywhere it shouldn't. Uh, last time the blast came down a lot and hurt my cabinet and I won't hurt my concrete floor So I got an inch thick steel plate um, The top is just open. It does have that thing blocking it. So it shouldn't go too much, but there's nothing about it for it to hit um, So I'm just gonna be way in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna plug this guy in um, It is on full throttle and uh, It's just gonna heat it up and go boom. So let's see how it works. Holy freaking crap, that 
made just the regular primer, the Magnum primers, look like a joke. That's absolutely nuts. I like this frame right here, the one I used for the thumbnail, it, and the one right before it is just an inferno. It's crazy. And the one right before that, the camera literally just caught pure white. It's literally all caught with just a bunch of white. That's crazy. It is hard to see, but you can kind of see the smoke coming out of there, just venting slowly. That's why I'm not in there. Okay, guys, so I, it's kind of, it's like night at night, so I didn't want to do that outside. So I was like, I got to do it inside my garage to make it quiet. So I did it back here, um, protected stuff in my garage with these boards. I was behind this cornhole too, as well, so I would be more and more protected. As I was crouching down there, I'm not going to lie, the thought went through my head. This is probably one of the most stupid things I've ever done in my life. Um, and I was like, this is how people earn Darwin Awards, but I'm completely fine, not hurt. I was wearing ear protection, eye protection, gloves, uh, behind multiple things. So completely fine, no problem, but um, I did, it was a little stupid. Okay guys, so this is the carnage. I found all the pieces. It completely blew up. So the moral of the story is, as we learned from the video a couple weeks ago, if you just have primers in the tube, you'll be fine. You'll probably want earplugs and eye protection and gloves. Um, but if you put 300 primers of H48 compound, you're likely going to have some issues. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Um, I have successfully blown up and ruined two of these primer tubes. Um, if you have any comments, questions, thoughts, concerns, or anything else that you'd like to see, uh, please put it in the comments below. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.